Dear students, welcome to Divya's Mac Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 1, Relations and Functions, Exercise 1.3, Question number 6. Show that function f minus 1 to 1 tends to r given by f of x equal to x by x plus 2 is 1 to 1. We need to show that the function is 1 to 1. Function is f 1 to 1 means we can write f of x1 equal to f of x2, right? So what is f of x1? f of x1 equal to x1 by x1 plus 2. Instead of x, I am writing x1. And f of x2 equal to x2 by x2 plus 2. Correct. Function is 1 to 1 means what we can write f of x1 equal to f of x2. When f of x1 equal to f of x2, that means x1 by x1 plus 2 equal to x2 by x2 plus 2. Correct. So, this one we can simplify. x1 by x1 plus 2 equal to x2 by x2 plus 2. We can cross multiply and simplify. So, this will become x1 into x2 plus 2 equal to x2 into x1 plus 2. Open the bracket. x1 into x2 plus 2x1 equal to x1 x2 plus 2x2. Correct. So, x1 plus x2 minus x1 by x2 means this one you are shifting means this become cancel. Right. So, here we will get 2x1 equal to 2x2. Here 2 to cancel. Therefore, x1 equal to x2. x1 equal to x2 means what we can say the function is 1 to 1. That is the condition. Correct. If f of x1 equal to f of x2, we will get x1 equal to x2. That means we can say that the function is 1 to 1. Here we will got x1 equal to x2. So from here we can write therefore therefore f of x the function or therefore therefore the function therefore the function is 1 to 1. Hence Prove. This one only we need to show, right? This is the first part of the question. Next, we need to find the inverse of the function minus 1 to 1 tends to range of f, correct? So, inverse of the function we need to find out means how we need to find the inverse. First, we need to show that the function is both 1 to 1 and on to. On to means what we need to take. Let y equal to f of x we can take. Let y equal to f of x. So y equal to x by x plus 2. This one we can simplify. So y into x plus 2 equal to x. So xy plus 2y equal to x. So x times together we can write xy minus x equal to 2y. From here we can take x axis common. So y minus 1 equal to this is minus 2y. Shifting to this side means x into y minus 1 equal to minus 2y. Therefore x equal to minus 2y by y minus 1. To cancel the uh, which word minus symbol means we need to take minus common from the denominator. So minus minus cancel right. Therefore, x equal to 2y by 1 minus y, we can write. This is the value of x. Next, we can substitute the value of x in the f of x. Okay, we are here, we are assuming let y equal to f of x. Next, we are going to check the value. Okay. f of this one, this equation become, instead of x, what we are writing? f of 2y by 1 minus y. 
equal to this. Instead of x, we can write 2y by 1 minus y divided by x, we can write 2y by 1 minus y plus 2. We can simplify. Okay. 2y divided by this one. 2y plus 2 into 1 minus y because the denominator is 1 only LCM. So 1 minus y, 1 minus y cancel. If you are writing reciprocal means correct. Both denominator are same. So it will become cancel. So this bracket we can open and simplify. 2y divided by 2y plus 2 minus 2y. Plus 2y minus 2y cancel right. So 2y divided by 2 equal to y. So we will get this one f of 2y by 1 minus y equal to y. Correct. That means f of x equal to that means f of x equal to y we got for the uh, which one values range of f right there exists x belongs to minus 1 to 1 so here we will get f of x equal to y means what part we can write therefore f is the function f is on to we can write so from here it is clear that the function is both 1 to 1 and then on to correct so here we can write f of x is 1 to 1 and then on to 1 to 1 and on to means what we can write Therefore, there exists an inverse function, correct? So, f of x is an invertible function, correct? f of x is invertible. Invertible. So, here we need to find the inverse of the function. That means inverse of x. Inverse, inverse of x equal to, inverse of x means f, uh, f inverse of y equal to this one, 2y by 1 minus y this is the inverse of the function question number 7 consider f r tends to r given by f of x equal to 4x plus 3 show that f is invertible find the inverse of f so f is invertible means first we need to show that the function is 1 to 1 and on to then we can write the inverse of that function correct so 1 to 1 means what we can write if f of x1 equal to f of x2, x1 equal to x2. Correct. Then we can say that that function is 1 to 1. So what is f of x1? Here f of x1 equal to 4x1 plus 3 and f of x2 equal to 4x2 plus 3. Correct. Then when f of x1 equal to f of x2. So we can write 4x1 plus 3 equal to 4x2 plus 3. 3, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. 4x1 equal to 4x2 we will get. 4x1 equal to 4x2. 4, 4 cancel. Therefore, x1 equal to x2 x1 equal to x2 means what we can say that the function is 1 to 1 that means f is 1 to 1 next we need to check for the on to on to means we need to take let y equal to f of x let y equal to f of x that means y equal to f of x is 4x plus 3 y equal to 4x plus 3 so 4x equal to y minus 3. So x equal to y minus 3 by 4. Next we can substitute the value in value of x in f of x. So f of x equal to 4x plus 3. That means f of instead of x I am writing y minus 3 by 4. f of y minus 3 by y minus 3 by 4 equal to 4 into Instead of x, I am writing y minus 3 by 4 plus 3. 4, 4 cancel. So, y minus 3 plus 3. So, 3 minus 3 0. So, we will get y. Correct. That means f of x equal to y. We will, from here we got f of x equal to y. That means the function f is on to. Function f is on to. So the function f is 1 to 1 and on to means what we can say. The function f, f is invertible also. The function f is 
1 2 1 and the function f is 1 2 1 and 1 2 and f is invertible and f is uh, 1 2 1 and 1 2 means we can say that f is invertible so what is the in inverse of function inverse of f f inverse of y therefore f inverse of y equal to y minus 3 by 4 this is the answer y minus 3 by 4 is the inverse of inverse of the function f or oh, otherwise one more method we can follow method 2 method 2 means you need to find g of f g of f of x and f of g of x we need to find both the answer become equal to invertible function means what we can write inverse of the function correct so first we can find g of f of x okay that means g of f of x is what 4x plus 3 then what is g of x g of x we can take it as y minus 3 by 4 that means here we can write g of x equal to y minus 3 by 4 so instead of g of x right so instead of y we need to write 4x plus 3 4x plus 3 minus 3 divided by 4 so 3 3 cancel 4x by 4 equal to 4x by 4 equal to x we will get g of f of x we will get x next we are going to find f of g of x f of g of x that means f of g of x is y minus 3 by 4 then what is f of x f of x is 4x plus 3 instead of x we need to write y minus 3 by 4 so 4 into uh, y minus 3 by 4 minus 3 sorry plus 3 divided by f of x are only, only that much because instead of uh, f of x is 4x plus 3 instead of x we are writing y minus 3 by 4 4 4 cancel we will get y minus 3 plus 3 3 3 cancel so we will get equal to y correct so from here we can write therefore g of f g of f of x equal to f of g of x equal to i r invertible function and uh, invertible uh, function we can write correct because here it is equal to x and this one equal to y right so f is invertible and the inverse of the function therefore inverse of this is invertible function therefore f inverse of y equal to y minus 3 by 4 we can write this is the answer any one method you can follow question number 8 consider f r plus r plus means we are taking the real numbers positive values only tends to 4 to infinity given by f of x equal to x square plus 4 show that f is invertible with the inverse of f inverse of f given by f inverse of y equal to root of y minus 4 where r plus is a set of all non-negative real numbers that means r plus means we are taking only positive real numbers so we need to uh, show that this is invertible invertible means what we need to show this is 1 2 1 and 0 2 so 1 2 1 first we need to write f of x1 f of x1 is equal to x1 square plus 4 x1 square plus 4 and f of x2 equal to x2 square plus 4. So 1 to 1 means what we can write if f of x1 equal to f of x2. From there we will get x1 equal to x2 means we can say that the function is 1 to 1. Correct. So f of x1 means x1 square plus 4 equal to f of x2 is x2 square plus 4. 4 minus 4, 0. x1 square equal to x2 square. So x1 means x1 equal to plus or minus x2. That means x1 have two values. x1 equal to x2 or x1 equal to minus x2 but no need to take the minus value why because they here they mention r plus is the set of all no, non negative real numbers that means we need to take the values of positive numbers only so no need to no need to consider this value 
from, from here we can therefore we got x1 equal to x2 for all uh, real numbers positive real numbers correct so here we can write the function f is 1 to 1 1 to 1 we got next we need to check for the on to on to means we need to take let y equal to f of x correct let y equal to f of x so y equal to f of x is x square plus 4 so from there x square equal to y minus 4 x equal to plus or minus root of y minus 4 Again, no need to take the negative root. Why? Because x has two values, right? x equal to root of y minus 4 or x equal to minus root of y minus 4. But no need to consider this value because we are taking only positive real numbers, correct? So, here x belongs to, x naught belongs to real numbers negative. x belongs to only real numbers positive. So, from here we got x equal to root of y minus 4. Only this value only we need to consider. Then one more condition they are given r plus 4 to infinity. That means 4 is included. This is closed interval till infinity. Any number we can consider. That means the value of y. y is greater than or equal to 4. Including 4 greater than any number we can consider for y. Correct. So, this one. 4 minus 4 means 0. Next 5. 5 minus 4 means root to 1. Next is 6 minus 4 means root 2. That means we are getting all positive values. Correct. So, y minus 4 is always greater than or equal to 0. Correct. That means what? That is a positive value. Root is positive. Root is this condition also satisfy. Next we need to verify. f of x equal to x square plus 4. So, f of Instead of x, we can write root of y minus 4. Only positive value only we need to consider. Instead of x, I am writing root of y minus 4. Instead of x, root of y minus 4, the whole square plus 4. So, root, root square means root will go. y minus 4 plus 4 plus 4 minus 4 cancel equal to y. That means we got, that means f of x equal to y. Correct. f of x equal to y. That means the function is on to. So, from here we got f is 1 to 1 and, and on to. So, therefore, f is invertible. f is invertible with the Inverse of f inverse only. Correct. So, we can write therefore uh, f is 1 to 1 and 1 to therefore f is therefore f is invertible. Then inverse of f f inverse of y equal to y value root of y minus 4. f inverse of inverse value of the function is y minus 4. This is the answer.